Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Oz with Oz Mechanics, and on today's video, we're going to be talking about this 2007 Equinox I have back here. So the issue that we had is that the customer was driving down the road and car completely shut off. We're going to fix this up, and we're going to talk about it on today's video. So to start off with, right here we have a 3.4 liter engine, and essentially what I did to verify that this was the issue that I fixed up, a fuel issue, we actually opened up right here where the air filter is at, and we sprayed a little bit of brake clean there, and we noticed that the car started. After doing some uh, diagnosing, uh, we went ahead and we went straight to the relay we're trying to do a relay test on it just to verify that the relay was working but we noticed that we weren't getting any power and this is what takes us to this little baby right here but there you go this fuse was actually busted so I put a brand new fuse on here and as you can see everything's working but you know if I, if I just ship this uh, vehicle out most likely this fuse is gonna bust again and I don't know if you saw my last video I had or actually a couple videos ago I did have a video on the fuel pump issue so I think the video is a uh, crank no start I'll put the link down below so you can check that video out and basically I'm gonna show you what we're looking at right now so what I have right here I got my fuse buddy actually connected to where the uh, fuse uh, fuel pump fuse goes to and we have our low amp clamp connected to that and from there we're actually looking at this is the current ramp from our fuel pump and I'm gonna post some pictures right now of a fuel pump and the commutators All right, so as you can see from those pictures right there, that's the inside of a fuel pump. So the inside of the fuel pump, you're going to have your armature. That's going to be the whole assembly. And then inside, we're going to have what is called commutators. Commutators are going to be the contact points where the brushes are going to be running through. So on the commutators, that's basically what we're looking at right here, these little bumps that we see right here. And normally on a good fuel pump, we want to see uniform bumps. But sometimes you can find a distinctive uh, bump on there so you can know how many of those commutators we have. Normally speaking, we have eight commutators, but I've seen some with 10 and 12. So right here, as you can see, we'll drop right here. So what we can use that drop for is to get a reference on how many commutators we have. So if we zoom in right here, I'm going to pause this for a second. We can see that we have a distinctive drop here and a distinctive drop over there. So if we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That means that this fuel pump here has 8 commutators. Um, like I said, most likely right here, that's going to be the issue. And that's where we're getting we're gonna get the short out on this fuel pump right here and that's why the the fuse is blowing and as you can see there's another one that's about to go out right about there this one has a small little drop so what I want to do I'm gonna make a video on how to remove this uh, fuel pump for a, another video but once I take the fuel pump out on this video I'm gonna try to open it up and I'm gonna show you where it's messed up at so let's get to it i'm gonna basically we're, we're gonna go to the next scene and i'm gonna show you the inside of the fuel pump and hopefully you can watch the other video where i'm showing how to take off the fuel pump on this equinox all right all right i found a cool little thing so i marked you see one through eight because like i said it has eight commentators and let's just go through these so we got one and that's where the little burn mark is at Two has nothing, three has nothing, four has nothing, five has a tiny little 
mark right there. Six has nothing, seven has, has nothing, eight has nothing. Now I'm gonna show you a picture of the of this uh, fuel pump ramp and uh, I marked the numbers too and as you can see the ramps on there all of them look pretty good uh, number one has the worst drop and number five has a little tiny drop so I'm trying to see if these are the main issues that we have right there so let me put the, uh, the picture up so you can see Alright, so you saw the picture right there, so let me know what you think down below if you ran into one of these little fuel pumps, picked them up, or actually cut them up and look inside of them. Uh, if you have pictures, post them, send them to my email, I'll put my email down low. And I'm just kind of curious, man. I like opening up stuff and seeing exactly what caused the problem. And this one, I wouldn't say is this, but... We'll go from there hope you have a nice day all right so we have the brand new fuel pump on and uh i primed it a couple of times but it might be a little bit off so i'm going to crank it over we're going to look at the amperage on here so you can see we don't have a drop like the other one and this and actually our amperage is actually a little bit lower too so as you can see all our ripples right here are pretty much sequence you know we can still figure out how many we have right here if we just see something that's dis distinctive like from here to there one two three four five six seven eight again one two three but we don't have that major drop that we had before well there you go this is going to be our fix right here the brand new fuel pump and as you can see everything's running good so if you do like this video please thumbs up subscribe and share and don't forget to hit that little notification bell to get all the brand new videos coming out here from Mars Mechanics hope y'all have a nice day take care